guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. I'm going to be answering 21 questions before I turn 21. My birthday from the day when I'm shooting this, my birthday is like 15 days away. But when you'll be watching this, it'll be like one or two days away, I'm guessing. So I decided to answer 21 questions before I turn 21. And I put up a story on Instagram. You guys asked me a lot of questions and I've selected 21 out of it. So I'm going to be answering those. And if you're someone who's interested, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first question that I'm taking up is YouTube earning. There are a few. Okay, wait a second. I'm reading my questions from my laptop, which is here. So when I'm looking down, please understand. So there are a few more questions regarding this too. How you support your parents financially in your studies and how much you earn. Total YouTube earnings. So I'm going to be answering, you know, ek sathi milake. I'm not going to give out a particular like exact figure of how much I earn, but it's not a lot, honestly like you've asked ke parents ko kitna mein financially support kar sakti hu. I don't think I can contribute to that yet because I earn in four digits only yet now it could be between 1k to 9k whatever you want to think whatever you want you can analyze you can imagine but my exact figure nahi bata but it's in four figures that's not really enough to support my family financially or to support my education but I save that up and use that for my personal you know experience so I can financially support kar sakti hu, but education wise because it's a huge amount I cannot plus as a financially home wise also I cannot yet but hopefully we are getting there we are growing so we'll get there soon. Next one is how you manage to keep yourself strong in your hardest times and love you too. Love you too. So basically currently also it is not the best time of the year I would say. In fact this year hasn't been the great for me. 2022 was much better. 2023 from the beginning has been, a, has been very negative and very I don't know just bad for me in general. But I hold on with the hope of getting better, getting into a better place because I believe Jobi Uta Chikli Uta so I just keep on holding with the hope that it is going to get better it said that it gets worse before it gets better so I keep on I mean I keep going with that hope the thing is all of these things are a part and parcel of life these are just going to be there without this life is incomplete what is even life without this there's not going to be happiness and all of those things always because otherwise how are you going to learn how are you going to become a better version of yourself how are you going to develop or evolve as a person so I take all of these less things as lessons and not just failures or just negative situations in general I learn from it I choose to evolve from it. I choose to become a better version of myself so that I'm ready to face the world which is ahead of me in future also because I'm just 21 right now. So all of these things are just preparing me for all the bigger uh, hurdles that are going to come in my life. So that's what I hold on to and that's what keeps me going. You will prefer business or job. Definitely a business. Like my end goal is to have a business of my own. But to get there, I might go through a lot of jobs. Not even jobs, let's say I would like to work as a freelancer. But that's not sure yet. However, my end goal is to have a business, have a brand of my own. What type of designer do you want to be? Well, I am confused myself too. It is a little difficult because fashion is very vast. And I am honestly not very sure ki, haan, this is the only thing that I want to do for the rest of my life. There are a lot of things that interest me right now and I want to explore my options right now. But yeah, so basically I'll talk about all of that like kya hai exactly options and all of those things because it's a long thing, a uh, long explanation. So I'll talk to you guys about that in one of my vlogs. So what type of designer do you want to be? I don't know yet but I'll talk to you guys about my options and all of those things in my vlogs. Agar aap designer na bante to kya bante? Probably an event manager because I love, 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 you know, organizing events, organizing like planning surprises, planning all of those things. I am such a good planner and I am like a oh, like serial planner in general also and I am very creative that way too. I immediately as a surprise idea as we saw in the situation mein kya chal hai, kya nahi, and how I can manipulate and all of those things. So yeah, if not a designer, I would have been an event manager, I guess. Who is your celebrity crush and you want to hook up with? I don't have a particular crush as such because I don't know me ko bas aise Bollywood me se koi itna zyada wow nahi lagta Bollywood Hollywood Hollywood to main dekhti nahi but Bollywood also 
बट आई गेस आदित्य रॉय कपूर में भी और विक्की कौशल आई वुड से आदित्य रॉय कपूर इज लाइक करंट फेवरेट सब का ही आई गेस एवरीबडी इज क्रशिंग ऑन हिम राइट नाउ बट या आदित्य रॉय कपूर एंड विक्की कौशल सो वेन डिड यू स्टार्ट ऑनिंग एंड वॉट्स योर थॉट ऑन दैट वॉज दैट द राइट टाइम यू स्टार्ट ऑनिंग and the question continues and was that the right work you were doing and how did you know if the work you're doing is good for you or not so basically i started earning very recently um i would say around march i guess because i had hit 1k subscribers last year in uh, november or december i guess but still it's a fat fat earning process chalu nahi hota there's a lot that you have to go through youtube ka wo complicated hai monetization policy so i started earning around march and again that was not a lot tabhi it has reached to whatever it is abhi very recently like past one or two months mein but uh, yeah i started earning because of youtube only in general and then i w- i don't know if w- that was the right time but i guess it was the right time and how did you know if the work you're doing is good for you or not it made me happy it made me content and at the end of the day i was not doing it under pressure or zabardasti so i guess that's how i figured out that yes it is good for me a very stressful question thoughts about turning 21 firstly 21 i'm turning 21 seriously 21 this is exactly how i feel every freaking time i think that i'm turning 21 because how is that even possible that i'm turning 21 right now i remember my 18th birthday so vaguely like it was in 2020 lockdown and i was like ye mai 18 ho rahi hu kab hongi 18 and i'm like 21 right now i haven't done mai kuch lag raha hai maine life mein kuch kiya bhi nahi aur mai 21 saal ki already ho chuki hu i've entered my 20s and it's quite stressful also honestly because it feels like i've entered my 20s already and i have like a lot of responsibility to start earning to start becoming independent and stop being re- dependent on my family completely stop putting all the financial pressure on my family completely and honestly aaj there are so many people who are like younger to me and doing so much better in life than i am doing so that kind of you know pushes me back ki again what are you doing and it makes me stress out a little ki mai kar bhi rahi hu kya sahi kar rahi hu kya mai galat kar rahi hu kya am i on the right path or am i leading towards the right path i will am i making the right decisions am i making the right choices and also like i uh, said earlier wo portfolio aur wo sab ke liye i am quite confused as to what i want to do next after my course is completed so yeah that is a little stressful turning 21 is a little stressful it's cute i mean it sounds fun because i'm turning 21 i'm becoming an adult but it's stressful okay i'm sorry about the background noise in the previous few clips i completely lost track while talking but baad mein realize hua ki pichhe se bahut awaaz aa rahi hai so i paused but now let's get back and our next question is what keeps you motivated uh, my future self i would say because i see myself as this independent business woman with the perfect living her perfect dream life having everything not just career related but but personally love life wise personal life family career all of those things are sorted and i'm doing well in all of those things and i know i will achieve that somehow there are going to be uh, you know hurdles between the way to reach that point and i'm like ha huh, obviously let those be because th- they are molding me as i said earlier all of those things are molding me become a better person and i believe all of those things are helping me reach that future self wala point helping me become that future self wala a uh, person somehow so that's what keeps me motivated okay okay fine this is there this is there this is there but yeah this is where i want to go so i'm not going to give up right now because the, all of these things are taking me one step towards the person that i want to be towards the life that i want to live towards my dream life who you thought of starting youtube and how you plan and manage content i think the question is why you thought of starting youtube and how you plan and manage content so basically during lockdown i started my youtube channel in 2020 and during lockdown i used to see a lot of creators i started watching youtube also tabhi hi main usse pehle zyada phone hi nahi use karti thi so basically then i was so much so connected with a lot of creators and then they launched their brand 
and because i was connected with those creators i used to trust them in some way i used to trust their brand in some way i felt like i know the brand i know the brand ethics and the brand qualities and all of the things so i was also very confident in making a purchase from their brand and that's what i wanted to build for myself i aim to have a brand in future for myself and i aim to have a audience too obviously if i'm building a brand it's going to be for a specific audience so i also wanted to have that connection with the brand i also wanted to have that authenticity and trust and bond with the audience that they are able to trust my products trust my brand know how the how, know how my journey has been how i've reached that point how it all started and they just know that it's true it's authentic and just connect with the brand and trust the brand enough to make a purchase like i was trusting their brands to make a purchase and you know initially that was my thing yeah i should start this is my like audience banega they'll know everything about my journey and then how i started a brand and then trust my brand and that will be great for my brand but now in the process when i'm doing it i realized one more thing which is I love sharing the process because there's not much about this process on the internet or anywhere because it's fashion related and fashion ke bare mein bahar bahut zyada stereotypes hai and people do not actually know the reality of it i'm not saying ke bas glam related stereotypes hai bahut aise bhi stereotypes hai ke glam fashion mein there's no future you cannot do much in fashion there's no scope in all of those things so i want to also cancel that out but i also want to cancel out that fashion is not just equal to glamour jo bhi fashion ka reality i just want to share it outside because i've seen a lot of people finding it helpful and you know it is helping a lot of people achieve their dreams and work towards their dreams because pehle nahi tha jab main bhi dhoond rahi thi to mere ko bhi nahi milta tha bahut kuch uske related aur i was also clueless at that point and if i had so much of you know uh, exposure to the industry or itna sara mere ko uske bare mein pata hota so i would have been grateful to that person whoever was showing me the reality and all of those things so i thought mere ko acha to lag hi raha hai mere ko waise bhi meri journey share hi karni hai but if it's helping some people in some way and it's you know making a difference in the world out there bahut bada difference nahi hoga maybe it's just this much but it's making a difference in the world out there so i want to do it i want to break the stereotypes i want to share the reality i want to break all of the misconceptions that people have in their mind i mean obviously i cannot break all the misconceptions that people have in their mind but at least a few so yeah those are the two main purposes what makes me do what i'm doing related to content i am hoping i'd do this until i have my brand and it's like fully completely set up and i reach like a good you know level somewhere in the industry future plans in career as i said i'm going to continue doing content creation side by side like a side hustle thing and i'm going to continue somewhere in the fashion industry maybe as a designer maybe as a costume stylist or cost not a stylist a costume designer or maybe somewhere in the magazines or some where in the design related field in fashion but we'll see where exactly watch out for my vlogs to know exactly what i'll choose how to approach a brand i can answer this in two ways because it influence a point of view so or a fashion in turn point of use yoga so i'll answer both because i am not sure apne kis usse pucha hai so basically uh, as an influencer you can approach them with your portfolio which is your social media handles you can approach them with that if you're interested in a brand and you think that you can collaborate with them with a, on a product that would help benefit you and them both then you can you know directly mail them or their marketing team and share your social media handles share your usps what are your uh what is your channel and instagram page about like fashion and lifestyle or food related or travel related and the things like that and if you aim to uh, uh you know approach a brand as a fashion intern then make a portfolio firstly and secondly you can go on linkedin you can go on internshala or you can go on the brand's instagram pages and you will get the email well option and mail them ask them if they would be interested to hire interns if they have vacancies right now and share your portfolio share your design philosophies and yeah how much percentage did you get in 12th so i got 95.23 i guess or 95.28 something on those lines but 95 point something something and i was a science student but that does not matter if you are wanting to go get into nift because percentage matter nahi karte you have to just pass your 12th grade but you have to get a good rank in the entrance examination 
any college crush no because honestly nift ka dating culture and love related anything is so freaking messed up so freaking mixed messed up it's pura gen z wala vibe and i'm i i think love aur ye sab ke isme na main gen z ko belong nahi karti hu i'm like that old school love kind of person you know one serious committed relationship kind of person and nift me dating culture is completely opposite it's just so toxic so bad i just cannot to wo cheez mai ko pata agar koi ladka acha bhi dikh raha hai koi kaisa bhi dikh raha hai na wo dekh ke i just know that he's also one of the gen z kind of wale dating circle mein so that automatically turns me off and just pushes me away so i do not have any crush in college right now and probably i won't even have any this is a very interesting and deep question and that is why i decided to talk about it in the end of the video it says tell us about your three mottos in life and the first one is to choose to give love no matter what i mean if you meet me in person or if you spend time with me in person you'd know i'm very different i mean not to brag about myself or anything but in general i just cannot work with my mind i always choose to act with my heart i just cannot act with my mind ye soch ke ya ye bol ke if he has done something to me if she has done something to me i should do this i should do that i just cannot naturally and maybe that is because i have this motto to give out love no matter what don't treat people or don't choose to treat people the way they treat you because they are themselves and you do not want to become like them by treating them the way they treated you just be yourself choose to give out love because you are a loving person you are a kind human being so give out those energies give a uh, do things that will make you be you only and not them if you're getting what i mean and then secondly is never 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 give up on your dreams if you're not living to accomplish your dreams then what are you living for like honestly what are you even living for i don't even know how to explain this but the adrenaline rush that you get inside your body when you're about to when you're working to accomplish your dream or achieve a certain goal and then you achieve it that's what makes you keep going right that is something that excites you that makes life exciting and interesting that makes life life i guess because uske bina kya hi kare agar aapke paas koi purpose nahi hai aap koi dream ya koi goal achieve hi nahi karne wale ho bas karne ke liye kare ho to what is the meaning of life what are you not even enjoying you're just living you're just present you're just doing all of those things life becomes meaningless so i believe never ever give up on your dream just keep working towards it kitne bhi failures hone do kitne bhi obstacles hone do kitne bhi logon ne bolne do this is not right this is not right karo aap karne ke baad maybe aapko pata chal jaye it was not right but you will learn your lesson and you will develop you will ex- uh, evolve and you will become better person you will learn something out of it and third thing would be i'll have to think about this a little I would say be grateful. Being grateful makes you realize you have so many things in life and on the other hand just complaining about things will make you forget about the n number of things you that you have also in your life. For example, every day you're crying that your friends ignore you or you don't uh have like best friend or something on those lines. So if you keep complaining about the bag that you don't have but your friends do, if you don't have the phone that you uh that your friends do and all of those things you will forget about the house that you live in that you're safe inside your house you do not have to sleep on the streets you get to eat three meals a day at least you have your parents you have your grand grandparents maybe or you get to live with your sibling or your parents and you're not living in a different city away from your parents and having the fear ke main unko bhi wapas dekh bhi paungi yani there are so many things you have like a perfect body from head to toe that helps you be independent aap sab kuch kar sakte ho jo bhi possible hai is duniya mein you can go on trekking you can skate you can run you can read you can write you can sleep you can dance you can swim you can do so many things you can hear you can talk you can see you can smell you can taste you can feel there are so many little things that you should be grateful for but you just you know ignore all of those things because you're just focusing on the things that you don't have which do not even ma- matter that much in life because ek friend ne agar aapke peet piche baat kar li kya ho gaya is that making you something like a wrong person is that affecting you in some way is that making you a bad person or is that making your body uh matlab aapke body pe kuch damage ho raha hai kya are you not going to be able to be independent anymore nothing so why focus on all those things which don't even matter and lose track of the things that you should be grateful for 
you know what i mean are you understanding so choose to be grateful every single day practice gratitude every morning or night and see a difference for yourself when you choose you know you should even thank like the auto guy who drops you from your home to the or uh, college or from your home to the station or whatever because he is providing a service to you and there are a lot of people who do not or cannot afford that yeah there are a lot of people who can afford but still at times do not get an auto because there's an issue and all of those things so be thankful for all these little things because in that way also the universe is working for you and stop focusing on all, all the negative things or all the rubbish things that do not even matter if somebody is doing this to you you do not have something that they do all of those things focus on what you have and be grateful for that that's like my third and i guess i think actually three no bahut important motives and i live by these i swear by these because this all these these three things makes life wonderful so these are the things that i live by and these are my mottos in life i'm going to get ta- all of these three things tattooed on myself some uh, in some or the other way because this these three things define me as a person i guess i'm so sorry about the noise but uh, we have come to the end of the video and i'm going to do the quick outro quickly because i think the video has been quite long so i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video i really hope it was fun to watch i like to turn 21 but i'm also very scared let's see how that goes let's see how my birthday goes the birthday vlog will come out and you'll know i don't even know if i'll get to vlog on my birthday this time if i will vlog on my birthday this time because i have no idea what's happening on my birthday if something's happening or not but anyways let's see how all of that goes and if you enjoyed watching this the video then do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you are new here and you enjoyed watching it then don't forget to click the subscribe button comment something nice in the comments down below or maybe tell me about your life motto that you live by in the comments down below i'll be happy to read it and i'll see you really very soon in my next video bye bye take care mm-hmm.